This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with what does control C do? And I have three important highlights for you. Highlight number one, control C is your keyboard shortcut for the copy shortcut. So we can copy text, the chart, tables, etc. that we can then paste, control V to paste. You can't really talk about the copy shortcut without talking about the paste shortcut that we can paste somewhere else and tweak the content without having to recreate the wheel. The second highlight is control C to copy works well with the Microsoft Office clipboard once you turn it on. So once you turn it on, which I'll show you how to do in a second, we can control C and copy things from PowerPoint, Word, Excel, the internet, up to 24 different items that we can collect from a bunch of different documents and then dump somewhere else. And I'll give you a couple of tips for working with the clipboard in just a second. The final highlight and probably the most important is the copy shortcut is the root keyboard shortcut for the copy formatting shortcut. So we can control C to copy an object or text. We can control plus shift plus C to copy that object's formatting and paste it somewhere else. So we don't have to know how an object's formatted to copy its formatting and apply it to something else. And there's one caveat to formatting that I'll point out in just a second. Now, before we dive in, if you want to support the channel and learn everything there is to know about PowerPoint, check out our PowerPoint Pro membership in the description box below. Let's first talk about the classic copy shortcut, Control C to copy. Here in PowerPoint, if I want to add a new highlights box for my chart, instead of recreating the highlights box from scratch, I'll simply select the one I have, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. You can see the shortcuts here on the left. I'll simply then move it down I'll need to reformat and rework the text, but that saves me from having to recreate the wheel. In the same way, if I want to reuse this chart on my next slide, instead of recreating the chart from scratch, I can simply go and grab that chart. I'll select it, Control C to copy, navigate to my new slide, Control V to paste. Here I can then simply just, I'll use some keyboard shortcuts to quickly format it, format the chart, I need to change the numbers, etc. but there I have it without having to recreate the wheel. In the same way that I can copy objects and text, I can control C to copy two slides and control V to paste them here within this presentation or a different presentation. Or if I simply have a graphic that I wanna reuse in a different presentation, instead of copying the entire slide, I'll simply select the graphic itself, control C to copy. I'll hit control N, another keyboard shortcut for you if you didn't know it, for opening a new blank presentation. I'll choose the title slide only, control V to paste in, and I can just bring the graphic in instead of bringing the entire slide and all of its slide master in. So there's some examples for using control C for copy in PowerPoint. Now another advantage of using the copy shortcut in Excel is besides just copying manually hard-coded or typed numbers, which I have marked here in blue, I can also copy formulas, and as long as those formula references are correct, in this case, it's just a very simple formula, D5 divided by C5 minus one to meet the percent growth goals for this spreadsheet, I can simply control C to copy. You're gonna see this little dashed box moving around the set or range that you've copied in Excel. I click to the new range, control V to paste, and all of those formulas, assuming they're set up properly, will properly transfer and do the calculations for you here in Excel. On top of that, if you just have a folder open, you can also control C to copy a file and control V to paste it, and you'll get a new copy of that document that you'll want to um, rename. I'll just call this one version two, et cetera. You can do the same thing with Word and PowerPoint. You can even control C to copy multiple files at the same time and control V to paste. So you can really copy and paste just about anything on your computer. Now let's talk about the Microsoft Office clipboard. And this comes into play when you have a lot of stuff that you wanna collect. So maybe you have stuff in a PowerPoint deck or old Excel files or Word documents or OneNotes or whatever it is your client sent you or whatever you find on the internet and you wanna collect a bunch of stuff and then dump it into a document. You can do that using the Microsoft Office clipboard. To turn on the clipboard in any of the Microsoft Office programs, simply come to the Home tab and click the downward diagonal facing arrow. This will open up the clipboard, which if I then select something in PowerPoint, I control C to copy. You're gonna see it's added here and I get a live preview. If I copy my title, control C to copy. If I copy a couple of graphics, control C to copy. And you can see here in the lower right hand corner, it's telling me what number out of 24 I've collected. If I then navigate to Excel, here in Excel, I don't have to open up the clipboard to continue adding to it. I'm just gonna open it up so you can see the example. 
So if I select this chart, Control-C to copy, you can see the chart is added to my clipboard. So anything that's added is added to the top. I can also select a range of numbers or formulas, Control-C to copy, and those will also be added back in. If I now flip back to PowerPoint, I will come to a new slide. This is the slide I wanna reuse that content on. I simply click it here in the uh, clipboard itself, and you're gonna see it paste on the slide that I can use. So in this way, I can cycle through a bunch of different documents, collect up to 24 items at a time, and then reuse them somewhere else. Now, one quick tip is that even if I close the clipboard, all right, and I come back and I start copying stuff, notice that it's still collecting. So if you want to stop the clipboard from collecting, we need to come to the task pane or the control panel area, find the clipboard and tell it to stop collecting. So it, it stops telling us what number we're at. To do that, if I come back in, go and find your taskbar. Mine's hidden, so I'll hit the Windows key. Here I'm gonna come and find this little clipboard icon. You can see it says six of 24. I right click the clipboard. I simply select stop collecting. Stop collecting, if I now come in here and Control C to copy this, you're gonna see Control V to paste, I just get the one item and it stopped collecting here in the lower right hand corner of my screen. And finally, let's talk about the copy formatting keyboard shortcut. So remember, Control C is to copy. By simply adding the shift key to the equation, you're going to copy an object's formatting. In the same way, once you know the paste shortcut, Control V will paste an object that we've already copied. Control Shift plus V will paste an object's formatting that we already copied. The one caveat to be aware of, these keyboard shortcuts do not work in Microsoft Excel. If you wanna copy and paste formatting in Excel, you need to use the paste special shortcut, which I'll cover within my What Does Control V Do video. So let's quickly take a look and see how this works. So here in PowerPoint, here on the left, I have a graphic setup and I have some formatting that's banding these rectangles to create a banded row effect like a table. Now, instead of having to figure out what the shape fill, shape outline, font size, font style is, instead I can simply Control Shift C to copy it and Control Shift V to paste it. I'll start with the right rectangle, Control Shift C to copy. I'll do this one at a time first, Control Shift V to paste, paste, Control Shift V, Control Shift V. I can also select the blue rectangle, Control Shift C to copy. This time I'm gonna hold Shift to select all of the rectangles and Control Shift V to paste all at the same time. So in that way, I did not need to know what the formatting was set by my client, my boss, my colleagues to then quickly copy and apply that formatting to objects down my slide. Now the one caveat to be aware of is that the copy and paste formatting shortcuts can only copy and paste one style of text formatting at a time. What does that mean? Looking at my two objects here, notice this one has a bullet point, this one doesn't have a bullet point. This one has some bold text, it starts with bold text, this one has no bold text, and this one has italicized formatting. By one formatting style, when I copy this formatting for the text, the copy formatting shortcut will only copy the formatting for the first letter or the first character of text, and it's going to apply that to all of my text down below. Watch and see how this works. So I'm going to select the object, Control Shift C to copy, select my other object, Control Shift V to paste, Shift F5, another keyboard shortcut for full screen, and you can see what happens. This is not the end of the world, but this is what is happening. The very first character or formatting for the first character of text will be applied to all of the text I paste that formatting to. So that's what I mean when I say that the copy and paste formatting shortcuts will only copy one style of text formatting at a time. So what does Control C do? Control C is number one, the copy shortcut to copy and then Control V to paste your content. Control C feeds the Microsoft Office clipboard once you turn it on up to 24 items or objects or whatever it is you're copying at a time. And finally, Control C is the root keyboard shortcut for copying an object's formatting. If you're new to the channel and want to keep up to date with our latest PowerPoint hacks, tips and tricks, or what I call PowerPoint hack trickery, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're just looking for some PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, including PDF cheat sheets and shortcuts, look in the description box directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.